Uh, hi Matt, uh, it's me Henry, just calling to let you know that everything's fine. Uh, it is the weekend, so y you must be out or something. I'm staying in tonight, uh, me and some other people in my dorm went out yesterday, so just, you know, recharging the batteries. Uh, everyone seems really nice uh, and friendly. It, it's going alright. Uh, it was that Freshers' Fair thing yesterday. I saw lots of cool societies, so might join one of those this time. It, it seems like a lot of people are doing badminton this year. Can't wait to meet them all. Yeah, um, hopefully this year will be better. Anyway, uh, don't mean to keep you, sorry. Um, send love to your friends from me. Bye. A society for those who want a close-knit group of reliable friends, no interests or hobbies required. Wednesday, 7th. Just saying, Clev really dropped the ball last night. Barbara has faith in her, so does we. Oh, hi, I don't think we've met. Are you new here? I'm Jane. What's your name? Uh, I'm Henry. Yeah, I'm, I'm new. Hi, Henry. Nice to meet you. My name's Tracy. You're going to love it here. Everyone is so nice. Thanks. Um, how long have you guys been? to not standing out next week. Why do we have a uniform anyway? Uh, it's so we feel more like a family or community or something. I don't know about you, but my family don't wear a uniform. A prison then? Only if we were all free to go and all had fun and got along, you'll love it here. Are you a first year or? Second. Oh nice, me too. Whereabouts do you live? Uh, Durden, uh, you know, up in Stoke Bishop. Oh yeah, I, I thought that was only for first years. Normally, um, but I couldn't find anywhere to live with, so they let me stay another year. My friend Matt, he's in Manchester, um, has a really nice flat. Uh, I haven't been to see it yet, but I hope to go soon. Well, he sounds lovely, but I didn't ask about your friend. I asked about you. No, where do you live? Oh, just a crappy flat nearby. Tracy and Jane picked it. I actually didn't get to see it beforehand, um, but they said it was perfect, so we just went for it. I, I think I know them. Do you live with them? Yeah. They seem odd. I don't know what you mean. They're, they're my best friends.
Welcome back, neighbours. It has been a long summer without you, and I've missed every last one of you. It's good to see you all back this year, and I notice we have a new face amongst us. Only one new face, though. Who is representing us at the fair this year? No matter. What's your name, son? Uh, Henry. Oh, I have a name too, but everyone here calls me father. Lots of children. You live in Baydock. I can tell you're going to be a great addition, Henry. Everyone, make him feel welcome. You know, the society is starting to grow on me. Well, hopefully that's given you a little taste of the kind of thing we offer here at the Reliable Union of Neighbours. I did have a long speech prepared, guaranteed to win you over, but as we've only got one new neighbour, I won't waste it. However, it's been a while. We do have one new member. Why don't we play a little game? Now everyone will take turns coming to the front and tell us a little something about themselves. Henry, you're new. Why don't you start? Oh, wow, you've, uh, you've kind of put me on the spot. Um, sorry, it might take me a while. I, uh, I'm not very interesting. Ridiculous. Don't you worry. Take your time. Right, uh, well, I study engineering and... Uh, no, no, no. This is a confessional. I don't want something I could read off your U-card. I want something personal, something, something you've never told anyone before. You don't have to worry. These are your friends. Okay. Um, well, I kind of regret coming to uni at all. Uh, my, my friend Matt did too, but he went up north and... I guess it's just not what I expected. What did you expect? Forget Matt. You've got us now. You did really well, Henry. I'm proud of you. Everyone, big round of applause. Right, who's next? And remember what to do if you think the confession is a bit... Nah. Uh, hi everyone. Uh... I had a nap today for three hours. I had my French test yesterday and it didn't go well at all. Oh, I made a terrible flyer. It just was so awful and we only got one person here and I just feel so ashamed. Yeah, I just had like a really terrible week. I almost didn't want to come today. You can probably tell I've, I've got a very sore throat today. And so, it's kind of a disaster. So I had to host a, um, a man in my room. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Very weird. So I guess it's my fault, but I mean, it, it doesn't have to be my fault, right? R right? I, know, I came in, I was really nervous. I, I didn't want to speak. Uh, but then I came in and father, he, Place his hand on my throat like this, and, and he said, It's gonna be okay. And I think that's really, I mean, it says, it says everything. Okay, so this is an embarrassing one. Last year, I went out drinking and, of course, got super, super drunk. Simultaneously vomiting and dancing drunk. <laughs> anyway, um, I got home, ate a block of cheddar, and passed out on my bed. I woke up in a damp patch. At first I thought it was the vomit, 
Then I thought it was the cheese sweats. Um, but no, I'd, I'd wet myself. <laughs> I was really, really embarrassed and started stripping the bedding. It was only then that I realized that it wasn't my bed. It was my friend's. Oh, I had drunkenly crawled into the wrong one. I remade her bed and walked out like it hadn't happened. <laughs> Right, I think we're done with silly games. Let's begin. Haven't we already begun? Oh no. What did you think this society was? To be honest, I wasn't sure. The, the flyer didn't really make it clear. Do you want to belong? Do you want to be loved? Yeah. Well, that's all you really need to know. That's what we offer, but first, you have to be initiated. Okay, well, I, I'm not gonna like shotgun 50 beers or get naked or anything. <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. Claire? This society is built on family, but not a family brought together through the coincidence of blood. We, we choose our paths and we have chosen each other. This does not mean, however, that we are not still bound by blood. Shit. To love. And to be loved in return, you must sacrifice. If you want to belong, you must show that you are ready for this commitment. We are an old society, and one with certain traditions that must be upheld. Henry, are you ready to be accepted into the fold? Yeah. Then Claire, Bring forth the sacrifice. Wait, were you gonna get me to kill a chicken? What is this? Uh, it's all I had. This is not what I asked for. Well, yes, I know, but it's really hard to get an actual chicken in a city. Could you not at least get real meat? Well, I... I thought it would be better for the environment. Also, thanks, Mercy. How can we do a blood sacrifice if there is no blood? Guys, I, I was never going to kill a chicken. <laughs> no, no. Of course what? No. Just a misunderstanding. This is why you are an outcast. Sit back down. I knew you'd fail. As I was saying, in order for you to be initiated, you must eat a slice of chicken. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Welcome to the family. Yay, I can't believe you're finally part of the family. Welcome to the family. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. It's so good. It's so much fun here, I promise. You're going to love it. So excited. Here. You can leave if you want to. No one will stop you. But what have you got to go back to? University? Matt? Think of what you have here. Friends who know you and love you. There's a bathroom outside. Go put that on 
and you can rejoin us when you're ready. hot summer night, would you offer your throat to the wolf with red roses? Yes. yes. Ah, Henry, sit, we've just started. Ripping off meatloaf? He, he stole that from a meatloaf song. He did it for out of hell? I don't know what you mean, but you're new here, so we'll let you off. Please. Sit down. Uh, I actually wanted to say something. What? Address me, son. Do you want to play badminton with me sometime? It, it doesn't have to be badminton, anything really. We uh, don't allow that here. Claire, these people are assholes. How dare you? I, and I think Dad over there has a bit of a temper issue. Do not call me Dad! Sorry, Daddy. We're only giving you what you want. Yeah, for a few weeks, sure, and then you toss me aside for someone new and shiny. Claire, this place is ridiculous. He's some B-Tech Charles Manson and we're calling him father. I mean, couldn't you have come up with something better? You just stole it from religion because you think it sounds cool. Same with the meatloaf lyrics, same with the chicken sacrifice. I mean, come on, if you're going to start a cult, at least have some fucking originality. Claire, these people aren't your friends. Yes, they are. No, they're not. They treat you like shit. Friends should treat you with, at the very least, a tiny bit of respect. Oh, and how would you know? Maybe you're right. Maybe this is where all the false promises lead, but... I don't care. Claire, do you want to play badminton with me? Um... Okay. Oh, and Father. Yes? Fuck you. Kill a chicken when you join. <laughs> no, that was new. Our previous father was nice as far as cult leaders go. The chicken idea was all Greg's. Greg? Oh yeah, that's his real name. We're in the same economic seminars. Have you ever played badminton before? Uh, no, this will be a first time. It's pretty easy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it a bit like tennis? No, but like. It's a bit